Hello everyone and welcome to Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Here we have the title screen for the three games and the three soundtracks. Very nice. I love the artwork here. Very cool. And it's got the little year counter in the top left that ticks to uh, when these games were released. We are of course doing Super Mario Sunshine. This came out in 2002. And uh, yeah. Let's jump in, and I believe there is an opening cutscene. This is this is the only Mario game to have like actual proper voice acted cutscenes, I believe. <laughs> it's not a it's not a ton of voice acting, but it is most certainly there. Mario off on holiday with the princess and the professor. Heading to that little dolphin-shaped island. Ooh, look at that! Isle Delfino, it's called. Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. What was that running in the background there? Wonderland, to which we added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Mario? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's probably nothing. Probably absolutely fine. Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't worry about it. You know, just some black shadow thing that looks like. Mario. What could, what could possibly go wrong? Super Mario Sunshine! Super Mario Sunshine. Wow. Okay, so this is sort of a blast from the past for me. Uh, I am going to still classify it as blind, but I have played this before on the GameCube, like when it came out, so I would have been very, very, very young. I'm very, very, very bad at games, so I have seen bits and pieces before, uh, but I don't think I finished, like, half the levels in any world, and I never made it more than, like, halfway through the game before I was just completely stuck, and I'd just, uh, restart, because I just loved playing the opening, like, section when I was little. Uh, and I do remember there being some really hard platforming bits in here, so, yeah, although I have played bits of it before, uh, a lot of it is very, very blind. So, it's it's like returning to my childhood. <laughs> it's, it's very weird. I never expected to be able to play this game again. I, I lost my mind when they announced it. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe it's actually happening. I can't believe the time has come. I'm very excited. <laughs> it was like, yeah, even though I sucked at it because, you know. What happened? It was, it was just a game I was so into for a while when I was a kid. It was one of the first games, I guess, that I was ever into, properly into. If not the first game, now that I think about it. Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. But yeah, there's so much that I haven't seen in it, so it's, it's largely blind. Oh, he's gone. I am most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. I will do. Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. So do I. So do I, princess. Master Mario, remember, B is key. Use it to show me some of those famous jumps. Will do, man, will do. What do we have here? This strange goop. We all came this we came all this way, and now look, everything's spoiled. Oh, this is the worst. Mario, please go get some help. Now, uh, yeah. You want to avoid this stuff, because if you get covered in it, you start losing control. And uh 
Mario gets all covered in it. <laughs> Got a big splodge on his nose. And look, these these people that have these leaves on their head, I forget what they're called, but like they get sucked down into it. Like there's one sucked into this goop here. Not good. Not what you want. Clean off in, in the water. Whoa, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to jump on you, man. Help? Help you? Are you crazy? We're the ones who need help. Take that water pump and clean the airstrip, you... You... Oh, yeah. This little this little water pump right here. This is the main gimmick of this game. Power up complete. And it talks. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gad Science Incorporated. Professor E. Gad from the Luigi's Mansions game. Luigi Mansion games, rather. Data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Boom. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the button to shoot water from my cave. Indeedy. If you press the button, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the button. Instructions complete. Proceed. There we have it. Yes. Flood. No, I do not want to hear it again. So, this is the main thing in this game, is that you have this water pump, and uh, you're going to be doing a lot of cleaning of this graffiti stuff. Uh... And then it has this other mode, which is the hover one, which you can use it to cross gaps and stuff. Uh, so it does definitely make the platforming easier, but then when it gets taken away from you, which it does in some particularly brutal uh, platforming levels, then it becomes really hard because you, you do sort of get reliant on it if memory serves. So... Uh, Clean off graffiti, get coins and stuff. There we go. But what you really want to be doing here is uh, cleaning up this. Now, what is this <laughs> big, different looking bit in the center? Hang on, let's get this guy. <laughs> Clean him off. There we go. Bruff, bleh. Whoa, I really thought I was a goner. Hey, hang on. It's you. This whole mess is your fault. Uh-oh. Wow, this looks like it's hurting it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Hello there. I'm gonna shoot my water directly into its mouth. Third time's the charm. And the land raises up. So those things actually have like terraforming capabilities. <laughs> and then here we have the things that we collect in this game. It's not stars, it's shine sprites. Don't they look cool? I love the look of shine sprites. I think they're gorgeous. And the uh, the the tune when you pick one up and get your get your shine at the end of a level is probably my favorite like you've beaten the level tune that Mario has ever had listen to it it's so nice it's very upbeat and holiday themed which fits with the island yeah. I love it <laughs> Yahoo! save and continue indeedy so seems like they think we did it Sort of pump? I am flood. Glad to meet you. 
Uh oh, it's the fucking popo. Things you hate to see. We've been locked up. Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the Shine Gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold this sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Well, Court adjourned. <laughs> Feels bad. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. But the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the shine gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. We will, we will. Nope, I don't need to hear the explanation again. Straight that way. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start blacking off. Gotcha. Right, well, here we are in Delfino Plaza. And uh, would you look at that? More graffiti has been placed around the middle. So it's quite a nice looking island. It's got waves rolling in. How do you go underwater? There we go. You can swim around underwater. You have a separate underwater meter. You have to keep tapping. Uh, the Y button to go down. If you just let go, then uh, he automatically... Oh no, maybe he doesn't. No, I take it back. He doesn't automatically go down. I thought he did. Right, so, hello. Well, I'm pleased to see you're safe. I must tell you, we were walking around town earlier, and it seems the area near the Shine Gate is still quite bright. Perhaps you should check it out, Master Mario. Oh, Mario, you're okay after all. I knew you would be. Yeah, but uh, people over there, not so much. There's a few people trapped in that graffiti. And why is the sky so dark, huh? It's not sun-drenched. This is hardly my idea of a relaxing vacation, Mario. I want to go home right now. Hmm. Well, I'm afraid we're going to have to clean this place up first. So yeah, this is the shine gate. Very, uh... I can't actually angle the camera up, it seems. But if we go down here, it will angle up automatically. And that is, uh... <laughs> it's it's producing some light. You can see the, the light cuts off here, but I'm pretty sure the whole island gets brighter the more you do. It's, uh... 
it's cool, it's cool. Anyway, let's get clearing this stuff up. Come out to play, mister. Oh yeah, and you have these little goopy things which emerge from this graffiti stuff to wreak havoc on my health bar. Hi there, friend. How's it going? Third time's the charm. Good night. Shadow Mario. <laughs> Gotta chase him down. A kidnapping. Stop the criminal in his tracks with some water. Get back here. You big old meanie. Ow, ow, ow. Not fair. Completely unfair. You shouldn't be allowed to use tools like that. He's heading for the square. Go get him. Hang on. Are you okay? Mario, I'm sure I saw that person out on the airstrip. I'm positive he's responsible for all this. Chase him. Will do. Let's get you cleaned up. Let's get you cleaned up. There we go. Hello. Get back here. He escaped into the graffiti, Mario. Try spraying it with water. And thus unlocks a painted portal into our first world. I do remember this bit quite well. <laughs> Bianco Hills, because I this is the bit that I'd keep just resetting the game and playing this first section over and over. <laughs> when I got stuck. Bianco Hills, Road to the Big Windmill. So yeah, this game is made up of... Uh, the Isle Delfino is like the hub world, and then as you progress through there'll be various portals to other worlds, and they are connected. It's kind of <laughs> the progenitor to Dark Souls, might I say? Because <laughs> like you can see that area over there with the Ferris wheel, that's one of the worlds. It's like they're all locations on the island, all of these worlds. That's one of the places we'll be going. Uh, and then on the left over there... Wait, I think... Oh yeah, all the way on the left over there is the, the town that we were just in. And then just below us here is the harbour. I believe the harbour's World 2, if memory serves. That's where we'll be going. That's the second place we'll be going. Uh, I think that's maybe World 4 or something. But yeah, it's kind of cool. It does that Dark Souls thing where you can see places out in the distance and know that you'll be going there eventually. You can slide down watery hills like this. Very cool. Man, this is this is this is amazing. This is like I can't believe I'm I'm playing this again, and I'm actually going to be able to beat it this time. It's uh, it's a weird feeling. So you got this like village producing power with the wind, I guess. Whoa! Got these tight ropes that you can walk, and they're springy, so they can bounce you very high. And then you can. Use the hover nozzle to fly around. Very cool, very cool. It is quite satisfying just cleaning this shit up, you know. And yes, I know this is the uh <laughs> I know this is the third one of these we'll have fought in a in a single video. Don't worry. You don't actually fight that many of these throughout the course of the game, but for some reason you do fight a ton of them 
right at the start of the game. But uh, pretty sure after the first couple of bits with the airstrip, the cleaning up of the the cleaning up of the thing in the in Del Delfino Plaza, and then this, I'm pretty sure they give it a rest for a bit <laughs> with these guys. Very nice. Loop. Loop. Now, uh, take a look at the top of that windmill. What on earth is that thing standing on top of that windmill? We will soon find out, but for now... Save and continue. We'll definitely be trying to get quite a few shines per video. This is definitely not a game with huge long levels, you know. So that was the first one and uh, you just hop straight back in. Down with PT Piranha. Yes, so. <laughs> That thing at the top of the windmill? That's my boy Petey. And I remember being so scared of him when I was little. Which is really weird looking at him now, because he looks kind of cuddly. <laughs> but uh When I was little, I remember he I found him to be absolutely fucking terrifying. Which is just quite funny <laughs> now. Now that I look at him and I'm like, there's nothing scary about him at all. <laughs> Danger, the bridge is out. Use my hover nozzle to cross large gaps. Just wiggle the stick left and left and right to uh, oh sugar. Clear a path for us. Ah! <laughs> Refill our water at this little fountain thing. Man, this is the memories are just flooding back. It's so it feels so strange. Hello. Could you help out with the big-headed creature up there? You're the only one we can ask to lend us a hand. I know it's a pain, but you think you can handle it? Let me up. <laughs> Riding up. Get a good view of the whole Bianco Hills. Some neat little, neat little area. Hi there, Petey. I'm gonna need to take that shine sprite off you. I was so scared of this. I was genuinely so scared of this when I was a kid. Uh-oh. Someone's been eating too much, PT. Right, so it's kind of similar to the goop things. Uh, you've got to wait for him to open on up. And you've got to fill his belly full. And then... you got to <laughs> get that water out of him. Man, he really... Does he not attack? I remember this being hard. Man, it's so weird. The memories you have of, like, games you played as a kid. 
and then how unreliable they are because I genuinely remember this fight being like I'd have to have a lot of goes to beat it. <laughs> Missed my missed my chance. Wow, I think we've just done it. I think that's it. That's crazy. <laughs> I remember that being difficult. Oh my god. Gaming when you're like six years old or whatever I would have been. I don't know. It's definitely, uh, definitely very, very, very early in my life. <laughs> it's crazy. Sweet. Ooh. Another one of those has popped up over there. I think what we'll do is we'll do one world at a time. Because uh, you can, like, mix, mix and match. It's it's new worlds appear after X number of shine sprites, I'm pretty sure is how it works. So we've got, like, three now, which makes that thing appear. And when you clear that, that'll be the second world and stuff. So it means you don't have to get, like, all of the shines, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you can just... You know, get a few here and then go to the next place, get a few there, go to the next place, and you're all good kind of thing. But uh, I now that I now that I am actually able to What was that? That's weird. Am I seeing that right? Is there a f oh I can climb trees actually, can't I? Yeah. There's a fucking pineapple on that roof. That is very strange. I I have no memory of that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what we'll... That's how we'll be doing it. So let's hop back in. I don't know how many levels are in each world. I'm guessing, like, ten or something. I never beat all of them in a single world, so... The Hillside Cave Secret. Ah. Ah. Here we go. Here we go. This is... This is one of the hard platforming thingies, I do believe. I, I'm pretty sure this is where they introduce them. Where uh, your flood gets taken away and you are left to do hard platforming sections. It's like in this weird void. Let's uh, let's get over there and you can see what I mean. God damn it. Didn't jump. Yeah, they take place in this weird void. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Whee! Uh, right, it's up there. How do I get over there? Across these platforms? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, I mean, they're going to start us out fairly simple here, but you see what I mean about them taking place in this weird void? And yeah, Shadow Mario steals your flood so you can't... You don't have that to help you out. I like this this backwards somersault. You get some good height on your jump. And uh, you do lose a life if you fall off. And there's no checkpoints in these stages. However, there are these pins. Which uh, you can... If I can get on it. You can bash down. 
And somewhere... Oh, first time's a charm. Somewhere is a free life. And so if you collect that every time, then you're theoretically never going to get a game over. So long as you can reach the, the one up each time. And then there's like coins and other shit in, in other bits. Oh god. It's kind of hard to get the right uh, depth perception going here. Get over to this one, get over to this one, get over to this one. There we go. Is there going to be another free life in here? Hello? Oh my god. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> just, a, just a coin. Right. Now we don't want to be knocked off by these boxes. Sprint our way through here. Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> just got two big old jumps across star-shaped platforms. <gasps> There's one. Well, I guess I should say three jumps. Two stars, but three jumps total. <gasps> There we go. For safekeeping. Okay, come on. Can we make it? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Christ. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I never beat that as a kid. Or maybe it's just a similar one. But, like, I remember having such, like, so many game overs. And then if you get a proper game over, you're kicked out of the world. If you run your lives down to zero, you get fully kicked out of the world. And so then you have to go back in... And you have to walk all the way to the cave again and get back in here. So it can be very time consuming when you're like six. Oh man. Was I was I six or was I five? I don't know. I was super young at any rate. Save and continue. And then yeah, it will uh it will keep showing us this thing when we come back to Delfino Plaza. Uh, you can skip that though. Just to just to point you in the right direction. Okay. Now normally I'd say we'd leave it off there, but it's part one. Let's make it a big one. Let's keep going. Red coins of Windmill Village. Classic, classic mission type. <laughs> Collect red coins. The music, I really love the music in this game, man. Boing! Right, oh, there's one. Start off strong. Very nice, very nice. There's another. There's another. That jump is so good for height, man. Whoops, didn't mean to slide off the edge. Get it? Yes. Oh, there's one. Well, there's one up there, another one up there. Oh, God, didn't mean to do that. Oh, hello, though. What's this? Ah, okay. That's just... That's just there. Oh, God. Oh, uh, hello, camera? I can't move the camera. Okay. Ah, uh, that's how this works. Oh, ow. You got to, uh... Do you mind, Mr. Windburst thingy? Hit it from up here, because it's like a timed thing. They connect together. Ow. You got a blue coin. Collect ten of them, then visit the boathouse in Delfino Plaza. 
I think there's blue coins and red coins and normal coins scattered across all the levels. Uh, okay, so I should be able to just spray this one and then that'll pop out of the wall on the other side. And then I... Go up and down. Nice. Right, now, where was the next actual one? Ah, oh, just above me. Grab it, grab it. Nice. <laughs> That's six. Oh, there's seven, and there's eight. Okay. Oh, I missed it, you motherfucker. Good. No, god damn it. Okay, I'm trying to do the I'm trying to do the side flip to get height so I can get up here and it does not seem to be playing ball. Uh there's also a spin jump you can do. Uh like that. That gets some pretty good height. Make it! Make it! Yes. Nice. Oh, hello. Save and continue. The other one was just up here, wasn't it? Huh? Oops. Nope. Get up. Ow. These wind things are very, uh... They don't like me very much. <laughs> oh, my water tank's almost empty. Good thing we are pretty much done. Nice. Very nice. I see a blue coin over there. Do we have enough water to get to it? What do we reckon? Reckon we should give it a give it a good old try? No, we don't, motherfucker. Hang on, let's refill. Okay, we can do this, we can get this. Get ourselves back up here. Whoops. Okay, here we go, here we go. Huh! Make it! Oh no. Hmm. Maybe you can't? Yet? Maybe it's something you can only get later? Dunno. Oh well. Uh the actual shine was back up here once again, wasn't it? And then you had to take the rope up, I believe. It's funny how much you come to rely on Flood. And then he's, like, not a part of any of the other Mario titles. But yeah, Flood was created by Professor E. Gap from the Luigi's Mansion games. Boing. Boing. Waha! Five. A lovely round five. Well, not round, but you know what I mean. Five is a pretty good number, and I think five will be where we leave it off. For today. So, that has been our introduction to Super Mario Sunshine and Delfino Plaza and Bianco Hills. Hope you've enjoyed. There is so much more to discover and it won't be very long until I am in completely fresh territory and uh, discovering things alongside you for the first time. I'm very excited. I, I'm just so happy that I finally have the chance to 
beat this game <laughs> that I never managed when I when I was a kid, when the GameCube was current gen. Crazy times. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can, I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the continued running of the channel, the continued buying of these new games at launch. That would be amazing, thank you very much if you could. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time when we head back into Bianco Hills and uh, maybe, maybe finish the world up. Dunno, we got through, what was that, five levels there? So, wait, was that four or five? I can't remember. But if there's ten, I feel like we stand a good chance of, of getting through it next time. Thanks for watching, see you then.